Hey folks, welcome back to the Dyson Sphere program. Last time, we finished setting up our titanium ingot production and ferried the first manual shipment back. Uh, we need to collect more. So it looks like we need to go past this base and over here. Flight mode. Uh, we're going to ferry another shipment back and then get started on producing structure matrices, the yellow cubes. And then we'll figure out what our research priorities are going to be as we unlock a whole new multiple tiers of tech. There's a lot of things I'd like to get. We'll consider what to do once we have the yellow cubes in production. All right, let's snag a bunch of titanium ingots. Very nice. Love that. Uh, let's charge up here. And then we're going to want to head back home. Uh, I did not... One thing I wanted to do here that I didn't was I wanted to set up the... I wanted to try out the geothermal power in the lava. We didn't quite get to that, but it may be a while before we come back because we brought all these solar panels and they're going to suffice. Let's go ahead and set all we one. Or all we three, rather, as our target to go home to. And then as soon as we're charged up, we'll make a flight. All right, let's go. Cruise mode. All right, let's burn some fuel, some core energy, and get to our planet. Are we crossing the sun? Oh, wow, that seems sketchy and dangerous. I guess we are crossing the sun. What happens if I try to land there? I don't know. It seems like a game over, right? <laughs> Most likely. I don't see how it could be anything else. We are alright. We got up a good head of steam here. Good speed should get us there pretty quickly. And, uh... I think we're gonna get the yellow cubes up pretty quickly. We've got all the ingredients now. All right, let's make sure we land on the planet. Don't overshoot. Okay. Now then, where do we go to get back to stuff? Over here. Okay. Let's figure out what we're working with. So first I got to remember where I am putting down all of the titanium we just picked up, which is like way over here, I think. Uh, no, it's further, isn't it? Here we go. All right. There he is. Oh, I forgot to do this while I was there. Oops. What are we? Three minutes in. All right. I forgot to. I forgot to dump that stuff off. Uh, let's go get our stuff back. I do need to charge up real quick. Let's stand next to one of these wireless power towers. Get some juice going. little bit anyway okay we'll head over here let's see where did I where's the mall over here um I guess the best thing to do is put the ammo back in its containers for now. Because I don't want it clogging up my inventory at the moment. Eventually we're going to need belts for these things. How am I doing for ammo over here? Let's fill this up. Make sure we're full here. Okay. We can put a little extra in our logistics inventory. 
That's fine. Uh, let's fill up on combustible unit fuel at the moment. Oh, I've got some extra missiles in, in the wrong slot as well. Okay, you can go in here. And then you go in here. Okay. That's partially restored my inventory. I think some of this is wrong. Some of this I actually don't want to be carrying around. So let's drop like this off. I think we're done with these two now because the idea was we had a big... Didn't we have something else somewhere to dump stuff off? Or was that on the other planet? That might have been on the other planet. I thought I put down a big... I thought I put down a big storage unit somewhere for stuff, but maybe that was on the other planet. No, we had like, we had a bunch of graphene and a few other things. There's more than what I just picked up that I should have available, but I don't, I don't remember where I put it. Was it over by the hard point or what did I do? Oh, well, I, I really don't remember where I put it. So I do have a bunch of buildings here. Maybe that was it. Okay. Maybe I'm thinking of the other planet. Let's not worry about it too much. Let's head over here and let's produce some yellow cubes. Okay, so we have titanium and we have uh, the organic crystals. If we take the output of those, we can make our... I think we make these in assemblers. Uh, let me put a little foundation down here. So... Let's put down a Mark III assembler. Uh, let's see. This is going to come out of here. No, I definitely had more stuff. Yikes. I don't really remember where I put that. Maybe I didn't have more stuff. Maybe I dumped my... Yeah, I probably dumped a few things over at All Wade 1. That I thought, oh, I might need these later. And then I intended to walk the mall, probably when I came back. It seems like that's what we're gonna have to do anyway, so let's do it. Okay, uh, Tesla Towers. Let's get a stack of those. One stack. Uh, what was this, Power Towers? I have 47, that's probably enough for now. Uh, we need a good couple stacks of these. get a stack of uh, splitters. Uh, we've got Mark II sorters. How many of those do we have? 200, that's fine. Uh, smelters, we have 49, we're fine. Uh, we do need some, we don't need all of these turrets at the moment. Let's dump those off. Nope, that's the wrong turret. Well, I guess we... Yeah, we'll dump these off for now. We'll have to remember to come back and get some. Do I want to grab some? And then I need to carry around ammo for them. I think we'll just leave them here for now. Uh, we don't need attack drones, or do we? We actually do need some. I think. Oh no, those are prototypes. That's the wrong type. Okay. Uh, processors, we have 120. We do need to make some more Mark III assemblers, though. I need to get this in production. So we need processors, graphene, and Mark I assemblers. All right. How many of these do I have? 50 should be enough, but then we'll, we're going to want more of those as well. Um, so what's this recipe? Iron, gears, electromagnets, and circuit boards. All right, let's let's get uh, let's get two hundred of these made. So we're gonna need sixteen hundred iron. So we're doing it. We're doing them all run. That's what's happening right now. <laughs> we'll get to the yellow cubes. I promise. Um, let's get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen of these. Uh, let's just take all of this. So, I guess we'll send over all of them and then take the ones we don't need back. That should be 16. Okay. 
Uh, to make Mark I assemblers, we will next need uh, 1,600 gears. How many of those do I have? Okay, I have enough. Oh, these are in stacks of 200. Hold on, so I only need eight of these. Okay. There's eight of those. And then we'll need uh, 400 circuit boards and 800 electromagnets. So circuit boards, there's 400 of those. Take an extra stack for myself. And then we need 800 electromagnets. All right. We don't have enough electromagnets. So now we got to fill this in. This is going to take two to one of magnets and copper. Uh, how many magnets do we have? Two, four, six, eight, a thousand. Twelve hundred. Okay, so twelve hundred magnets is going to require six hundred copper. All right, that should now be producing electromagnets. For now, we'll get this started by dumping in what we have. Uh, let me grab them from here. And we'll, we'll put in what we have. So we need another... We're putting in 400. We need 400 more. We'll come back to that in a moment. Let's actually filter this. That seems cool. That seems like a good way to main, remember what, what we need here. And then we'll filter the last two when we... Well, let's do, let's do like this. Let's just split these. And filter these as well. Okay. That's pretty nice. Okay, so we need 400 more magnets in there. Then, we want to be producing Mark 3s, or Mark 2 assemblers. So what do we need here? Uh... Fill materials tab? Oh, I didn't know you could do that. You can put them directly into the machine, huh? Oh, that's kind of cool. What is the take key? What what key is that? Tilda? I can't I can't tell what key that is. Looks like the the back tick key. It doesn't really work. Huh. Okay. Okay. So the recipe calls for... Uh, I want probably like 200 of these. So we're going to need 1,600 graphene and 800 processors. Uh, 800 processors we can come by. Graphene, I don't know if we have any excess graphene. I think it's all being used. It's all being consumed in... What are we making with graphene? Uh... Or where are we making graphene? Graphene is made from... It's made in chemical facilities from high, sulfuric acid, right, okay. Let's go see if we can get 1,600 graphene together. I don't know if we can. So the sulfuric acid's over here. And then these guys are making graphene. Oh yeah, we've got plenty. All right, 1,600. Let's take... One, two... How does this work? All right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, there's 1,600 graphene. 
We've got a nice stack of this going on. I wonder if it wouldn't be better... Well, we're getting in, we're getting into planetary logistics soon, so I don't think I'm going to mess around with uh, logistics distribution until we have that unlocked. Let's head back over. The next mall is going to be very different. Everything's going to be fully automated, 100%. No exceptions. All right, so this was for producing, yeah. We wanted to make 200 of these, so we'll need 1,600 graphene, 800 processors. Send, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, yikes. Send those, and send those. So that's one, two, three, four. Let's grab that, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. 6 plus 10 is 16. All right. Uh, let's filter that. Oops. I think we can just ignore the dark fog swarm. Uh, next, we're going to need 200 of these. So we don't have them yet. That's fine. And then the other thing we're going to need is... No, that's it. Okay. So... I wanted to make 200 of these, which means we need 200 assemblers to put in. Um, we can help things out here a little bit. One thing we could do is upgrade this. That'll go faster that way. And then we could manually make some as well. How many can we make, I wonder? Only 16? Okay. Probably because we don't have the, the ingredients we need. Let's grab some of this stuff. See how many more we can make to help out. That's 41. Uh, looks like I need more gears. Okay. Okay. We need a total of 200 of these. They are pretty slow to produce, I will say that. So we've got 100 here, closing in on 100 here. That'll be enough. Uh, and then we're very close to being, well, I, I shouldn't say that. We're making progress on our mall work that we need to do before we get back to yellow cube production. All right, how many have we got? Oh, not as many as I thought. Oh, I was looking at Gauss turrets. Why do I have so many Gauss turrets? I don't need that many Gauss turrets. Replication complete. What is this doing? Oh, this is making Gauss... God damn it, this is making Gauss turrets. I've spent all this time making Gauss turrets instead of Mark I assemblers. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, that's a mistake. <laughs> this is what I need to be automating. I don't even have a production chain for it. Yikes. Well, let's get one started. Hopefully these can be made a little bit faster. All right. I want you to make Mark 1 assemblers, please. Okay, you need... Uh, let's see. I want 200 of these. So I need 1,600 cogs, or gears. And now I think we have a problem, because I think I used all the gears to make Gauss turrets. No, I didn't. Okay, 1,600. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Go in here. Okay. Next up, we need... Now, where's the correct thing? Uh, we need... 800 iron and 800 circuit boards. Okay. And then we need a bunch of iron. I think this is... Yeah, that's running low. So let's come over here. Grab as much of this as we can get. 
Where is Mark 1 Assembler Production? All right, so we need 800 iron. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, you should now be making, yeah, you're making Mark 1 Assemblers for me. Thank you. Dump the rest of the iron in here. Looks good, we'll take one stack for ourselves just in case. Okay, there we go. Now, you're over here making these for me. It's slow going. We should make some more. We should make some more ourselves. So, iron, gears, and assemblers. Uh, let's, let's try to make a hundred. So we want 800 gears. We're running low on gears here. Uh, we want 800 gears, 400 iron, 400 circuit boards. Okay. Now, let's make 100 of these, and while we're doing that, we'll go find some gears for the box. Uh, yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Okay. Our replicator speed should be nice and high. Now, what I don't remember is where I can get gears. I think I ended up having to set up a custom line to produce them. Yeah, I did. Over here, right? Oh, no, I didn't. All right, well, whatever. That's fine. We can grab those and go fill up the mall for now. This mall is going to become obsolete soon. We're going to have full automation with planetary delivery. Uh, I've picked up too many, so for now, let's dump the extra in here. Why not? I guess we can filter this like this. And then dump in the extra for another production run later. I'll take 200 for myself. Okay. We, we're now producing lots of... Uh, Lots of Assembler Mark 1s. We're getting close to the number we want. Let's put the first 100 in over here. Okay, this is going to produce Mark 3s for us. Very nice. And then... Once we have the last 100... We can move on. Okay, 55. Producing more. Got another 27 coming out of here. Man, inventory management and logistics. It is all... It's what this game is about. I'm eyeing the timer, too. We're at 23 minutes. I want to get Yellow Cubes done this episode, but I just need so much... I have so much prep work I have to do to get it working. They were very close. We're at 90 some odd now. Replication complete. There we go. Nope, not quite. Oh, this thing's slow, huh? Wait, what is this complaining about? What is this complaining about? Lack of material. Oh, the... The sorter might not be sufficient. Let's add another one. Another two. So it can get stuff that it needs quicker. More quickly. Okay, we need five more. One, two, three... Four and five. Okay. There's the last hundred of those. Nope. No. Damn it. Is that everything? I think that's everything. I think I took a... I think I took an extra one for myself. I think that's roughly what we need. Uh, the, re the ratio should be... Yeah, we need more... We need more delivery here as well. 
to speed up production here. Okay. The ratio should be uh, four times as many processors as we have assembler mark ones in here. So, uh, one hundred and seventy-five should be equal to four times that is. Oh boy, uh, one hundred and seventy-five times four is three fifty seven hundred. So I've taken too many of these out. Uh, I need another 80 or so over here. Now that should be roughly correct. Okay. And we don't need that many of these to start. The first 30 are fine. Okay, with those in hand, now we can get started on yellow cube production. I think that's going to handle most of my problems. So, probably after yellow cube production is done, the next thing we're going to go into is fusion power. Because we're, we're getting up against the bottleneck again. Now, why isn't it charging? What happened to all of my... Why isn't it charging up my batteries? Oh, I see. It's not charging them because they're full. So, I might need more of those then. Because <clears throat> we did run out. Let me set down a few more of those before we continue, and then we'll do yellow cubes. And then after that, like I said, I think we try to get into fusion energy after that. Uh, where are my accumulators? Here? I've only got 15. All right, I probably need some more of these, so let's figure out what this involves. Oh, this is a whole thing. Forget it. We'll just make do with what we have. <laughs> That's too much. I spent too much time at the mall today. All right, let's get these these titanium crystals built and feed into yellow cube production. All right, so where are we coming? Over here. Light mode. All right, let's set down our producers. So we should have 60 per minute here and we have a fixed amount here that we have to ferry manually. Uh, we want to produce titanium crystals. Let's get that started. Uh, so, oh, why don't, where's my logistics? There we go. So we'll do something like that. Now that's, uh, that's doing three per second. That's a hundred. Yeah, that's more than enough. We're going to consume 60 of these per second. Uh, let's get another belt line over here to bring out the titanium ingots. The titanium ingots we need we need 180 per second or per minute rather, which this can just handle. Right? 3 times 60 is 180 and the rest the recipe is 3 to 1, I think. Uh, so let's set down our producers. Something like this. And what does one of them cost? Let's see. We want to make uh, titanium crystals. So we want 60 per second. We're going to make 15 with the Mark II assembler, uh, having a 1x production ratio. Four, four seconds for a recipe, so 15. So we need four of these. All right. Let's get this set up to produce titanium crystals. Let's get our sorters. So, you go there, you go there. Looks good. Uh, let's get an output line. Okay. And then I don't know how long these need to be. A little bit longer, I think. And let's shift drag this and make four more. One, two, three. And there we go. Titanium crystals coming out. It looks like we have a power problem, so let's throw down 
a quick Tesla Tower. Looks good. So we're now producing 60 titanium crystals per minute. Combine that with our uh, 60 diamonds per minute. And we suddenly have exactly what we need. Uh, all right. So I think we're going to fly these over, right? Is that That's what we're doing with the diamonds, right? Where's diamond production? I don't even know. Diamond production's over here. And we had to build like a pit stop thing. Um... Let's just, let's take this belt a little bit closer, although I don't know how far we need to go. Let's bring it like over to the water's edge here and see if we can make this work. We'll put down a quick depot. We'll connect it up with a sorter. And then we'll put a logistics... Oh, I don't have any of these. Uh, let me make the five that I can make for right now. Oh, I don't have any bots either, do I? I need at least ten. I don't have the engines for it. Dark fog cluster is launching an assault. All right. Let's at least put this on here for now. You are going to distribute to other distributors. Very nice. Okay. Let's get you powered. Replication complete. I definitely left some stuff somewhere that I thought I was going to be able to pick up. Like those bots, I feel like I left those somewhere on this planet, but I just don't remember where. Light mode. Uh, we need to produce some bots. And then the other thing we need to do is combine our diamonds. Light mode. Where are the diamonds going right now? Over to Yellow Production Town. Okay. So we need to get the we need to get the crystals here. Yeah, that's our goal. Get the crystals here. All right. We need to produce some bots. Something tells me I do not have a production line set up for the bots, or do I? Did I manage to think that through and get ahead of that? It doesn't look like I did. That's shocking. Did I set up a production line for bots somewhere else? I feel like I did. Oh, it's right here. It's at the edge. It's hard to see because I pushed it back. Okay, I do have some here. That's good news. Uh, we're going to need to produce some more. So the recipe calls for processors that we don't have. All right. Let's grab some spare processors over here. Uh, okay. Dump some of those in. Why not? Light mode. Let's head back and put in the distribution bots. Let's see if they can reach from where we've placed it. Because we moved it quite a bit. We've moved it a little bit closer than the other one. Where is it? Light mode. Over here. Okay, so titanium crystals are ready to come visit production town for yellow cubes, which is over this way. Let's see if they can reach that far. It feels like they should be able to. Let's see. Insufficient materials. Uh, I don't have brick to make a depot. All right. Let's make a bunch of depots. Materials. This is colored with the foundation, right? Because I like... Can I just change it like that? Without spending? I don't know if I spent or not. Alright. <clears throat> Depot goes down. I can't tell... Yeah, that's one away, like that. Okay. Logistics distributor goes on top. We tell it to request titanium crystal. 
One available route, one route's out of range. Dang. Okay. Let's get it set up anyway. And we might have to move this at some point. Uh, it's out of range, so we need... We need another... Hmm. What's the right way to do this? Light mode. I guess we set up another one of these little... Way stations? I guess I can just copy and paste this, right? And then change the filter? Uh, I think so. Let's copy that. Oops. Uh, let's use it now, like this. And then let's change the filter to uh, titanium crystals. Nope. Yeah. Wait. Why does that look like... Yeah, let's, it's got diamonds in it. For some reason. There we go. Now it's functioning. Uh, okay, so that's correct. That's correct. I think that's all right now. This sort of reached equilibrium, I guess. Let's just delete these extra diamonds. Okay, is this setup correct the way I want? Yes, it's so it's working as intended. Uh, we do need to provide bots here. How many do I have left? Uh, where's my bots? 144? Okay. Oh, it already, it already filled up because it was, it was already enabled. Okay. So I think this is working now. I think this is sending crystals out as it's intended to. This has reached equilibrium. This one's going to take a while to reach equilibrium. But it is sending titanium crystals. Okay. Let's see if this is now producing yellow cubes. Uh, I will need to connect up the output. Okay. And we're producing yellow cubes! Structure matrix, baby! It's available. <laughs> you produce the first structure matrix at 24 hours and 49 minutes. It's one of the five source codes that maintain the center brain simulation. This is the greatest breakthrough in the history of material science. Progress in structural technology promotes continuous industrial development. Oh, that is so fantastic. So cool. Let me get myself a screenshot there. Okay. So, yellow cube production is online. It's taken us a long time, 24 hours of playtime, a full day to get here. But we're feeding in the goodies. And we can now do some research. All right. Okay, we've got uh, six minutes left in the episode. So let's review what's available. Interstellar logistics system we don't need. But uh, the planetary logistics we do. We need this, we need that purple connector thing. I want to build, I want to get started building these and, and get to work on a new mall. So what is this? This is particle container. Now, I don't know if we have the ability to make these yet. We can make them in the assembler. If I had graphene and copper, could I hand make them? It looks like it is available. Okay, so we have that unlocked. So this is going to be our next production chain into towers. And then we're going to build a new mall. Because the old mall is not as good as I'd hoped. It does. It didn't end up working the way I wanted it to. We might even maybe go to a new planet. I'm not sure. Let's. Okay, so we don't need interstellar logistics systems yet. Integrated logistics systems has the automatic piler and the pile sorter. So these I was interested in. 
Building an auto piler on a conveyor belt automatically merges two cargoes on the belt into one, which significantly enhances the belt's carrying capacity. That would be nice. Pile sorter. After upgrading it, the pile sorter can integrate multiple cargoes into one and feed out it. I'm not sure about that grammar. Even it is slightly expensive, but it is a good deal for those engineers who are dedicated to run the conveyor belt at full speed. Not sure about that. I don't think we need this yet. Uh, I don't think we need high strength titanium alloy yet. Interstellar power transmission. We're not into this yet at all. High strength lightweight structure. Frame material. Dyson sphere component. We're not there yet. Uh, mini fusion power generation. This we need. Actually, I think I said we were going to do this next, didn't I? Yeah. Under the effect of a high-intensity, high-density magnetic field, this facility can turn the enormous energy emitted by de de deuteron fuel rods via a controlled fusion reaction into electricity. Produces 15 megawatts. Now, what does a normal thermal power plant produce? 2.16 megawatts. So one fusion power plant is worth, what, seven of these? Yeah, seven of those. I think we definitely need this, and then we're going to need to produce Deuteron fuel rods. So, yeah, planetary logistics towers are going to have to take a backseat to power. We need to get this fixed. Um, so this recipe needs, it looks like, high-strength titanium alloy. Let's activate this research. And then come down and get mini fusion power generation afterwards. Okay. What else do we have? Uh, some carbon nanotubes. Casimir crystals. What is this? Miniature particle collider. New particles can be produced when two streams of accelerated particles, upon reaching a certain intensity and energy, collide. It's usually employed to create stable deuterium anti and antimatter, but consumes considerable energy. Uh... The the mini fusion reactor where did where did that go? We're, we're researching it. I think this burns the Deuteron fuel rods. Which are made from Yeah, do it, we need the deuterium. Okay, so we do need this as well. Alright, so there's our power stuff. Satellite power distribution, I'm not ready for that yet. Supersonic missiles, I'm not too worried about. I don't care about ammos. Attack drones, I don't think we need just yet. So there's our technology that we're going to research next. What is this integrated logistics? No, that's that. Okay. I don't feel like I need that. So next up, after we've got the fusion stuff unlocked, let's look into upgrades next. So we can't get that. Mecha core. Additional uh, core energy, laser weapon range and damage. We're not using the laser weapon, but mecha durability. This is nice to have. The core energy is nice. We'll grab that because we're going to be traveling between planets. Inventory capacity, we definitely want. I don't care about that. I do care about this. This is kilowatt mecha fuel power, so we recharge faster. Uh, that I'm less concerned about. <clears throat> Plus 1,000 meters per second mecha cruise speed. I'm not sure I can power that. Um, I'm not sure we need energy shield better right now. Solar sail life, I'm not interested in. Vertical construction, pile sorter, I don't care. Uh, distribution range we want, for sure. Once we get that up, our little drone bots uh, can go anywhere on the planet, it, it seems like. That one's going to take purple. Okay. Uh, and then logistics carrier engine, flight speed... Yeah, we're going to want all of the flight speed that we can get. What else do we have? Carrier capacity we're, we're going to want. Vein utilization we're going to want. Uh, research speed we can't do yet. And then this is all weapon stuff. So this is sort of secondary. All right, so we've got more upgrades we want, mainly for logistics stuff. But God, this is fantastic. We're actually, we actually got yellow cubes done, and we're actually researching stuff now. We're unlocking more tech. Fantastic. So, uh, that's going to be it for this time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time, we'll work on fusion power. And I hope to see you then. Take care.